Hello and welcome back to a new module called Mortgage Servicing. And this particular section of in this particular lecture is going to talk about just like you know introduction on what is mortgage servicing. All right. So loan servicing or mortgage servicing is basically uh, which is also called as loan administration refers to the part of the mortgage value chain that starts after the closure of the loan and extends till the loan is fully repaid and settled. It includes activities uh, like you know the cash management for periodic payments and disbursements, investor accounting, investor reporting, customer servicing, delinquency management and records management. So as shown, uh, as shown in this particular diagram, uh, you know, the loan servicing involves uh, collecting monthly payments from the borrowers and uh, remitting the payments to the investors or security holders, handling the contacts with the borrowers about the payments and the delinquencies, uh, maintaining the records, initiating the foreclosure procedures and handling taxes and insurance premium through escrow accounts as possible, as applicable. So the collection of the mortgage payments and the periodic remittance of these payments to the investors or which is also called as conduits is a major task of the services. Okay, so in addition, uh, services are the primary repository information on the mortgage loans. Thus, they must maintain accurate and up-to-date information on the mortgage balances, status in the history and provide timely reports to investors. Okay, servicing activities uh, generate a revenue stream of their own that is separate from the revenues generated by other mortgage banking activities. However, the servicer requires uh, you know, the efficient processes and the econ you know, economics of scale in order to realize the full potential of this uh, revenue. Uh, this involves huge investments in the information technology for accounting, disbursements and document management, etc. Hence, uh, the servicing market is dominated by specialists and servicing rights are sold in the secondary market. So, when they say the secondary market is basically the owner of the loan must approve this particular sale because the person who has invested on that particular uh, loan or a mortgage, uh, he has to approve this sale. So, who, who basically in the secondary market to the entities who specialize in the servicing, such entities are called as services. So the business model of services is basically, uh, you know, it depends on uh, the operational efficiency, how efficient they are in terms of uh, operating, you know, uh, operations of the, the loan, strong internal controls, cost management, and the compliance to the investor requirements. The revenue that is generated in servicing the originates primarily from the uh, servicing fees. The servicing fee is an annual fee that is based on the outstanding mortgage balance and is typically in the range of 0.25% to 0.5% of the outstanding balance. As you see in this diagram, you know, um, basically the servicer is uh, uh, handling a different multiple job and uh, he would be taking care of the delinquency management, uh, not directly, but it is done by the uh, you know, external agencies, but still the servicer is... Um, basically takes care of, uh, you know, any delinquencies that are happening with the loan. And the escrow administration, investor accounting and reporting, where, you know, uh, he would be reporting to the investors who has invested on that particular money. Document custodianship, again, there will be a separate agent for the document custodianship, but servicer is the primary person who takes care of the custodianship. So there are several activities which are performed by the mortgage servicing. You would understand those in details in the uh, subsequent lessons. Uh, uh, that's all for this particular uh, lesson. I will see you in the next, uh, uh, you know, the topics within the loan servicing. Thank you.